NBC's Matt Bradley is tracking the story from London. Matt, good morning to you. What do we know about this group? It's called ISIS-K, ISIS Khorasan, which has claimed responsibility. Yeah, actually, we know quite a bit, Ali. They've left a trail of destruction over the past few years with huge attacks, a little bit like what we saw yesterday in Moscow. Now, the group was founded back in 2015 in Afghanistan by former members of the Taliban for whom that group was not extreme enough. They thought the Taliban was too moderate. So this is the same group that attacked Afghans who were trying desperately to leave their country as American troops withdrew back in 2021. You remember that horrendous attack. It killed as many as 170 civilians and 13 American servicemen at Kabul's International Airport. And just this year in January, they struck again, this time in Iran. And they claimed credit for a huge bombing that killed 84 people at a memorial procession for an Iranian commander and intelligence chief who had been killed by the Americans by a drone a few years earlier. And just like we're seeing with this attack in Moscow, there was a similar pattern. The U.S. says that they had warned the Iranians that terrorists were planning something and their warnings were ignored. And U.S. intelligence has said that last night's attacks, as you mentioned, that they were indeed related to that warning two weeks ago that apparently went unheeded. Ali?